Here is some good news for a change. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has successfully landed their rover Perseverance on the surface of Mars. Perseverance is a rover the size of a car. And they managed to land this thing on Mars using a rocket-powered sky crane. And that's actually the picture that you see here. This is a real picture of the sky crane lowering the rover onto the surface of Mars. If you go to their website, and of course, I'm going to put all of these links in the video description below, you can see all of the information about the rover, what kind of experiments it has, what they hope to gain by sending this mission to Mars. There is a rover or a drone that they're actually going to test on the surface and above the surface of Mars. Uh, but there were a couple of other things in this mission that I thought were exceptionally interesting and that I think have wider implications. And one of them is this. This is called the Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment or MOXIE. And what they want to do is try to produce oxygen from the Martian atmosphere for propellant and for breathing. If people are going to live on Mars, they are going to need to find a way to create oxygen. They also need oxygen, as they say, for propellant. Future spacecraft going to Mars are going to need oxygen as part of their propellant. SpaceX's Starship uses methane and oxygen. This is something they're going to have to learn how to make on Mars. So this MOXIE experiment is part of figuring that out, figuring out if it's possible and to give us kind of a first step on what we need to do next to, to manufacture it on a larger scale. There's also this, a Martian round trip, NASA's Perseverance rover sample tubes. Of course, they're gonna collect samples and examine them using instruments on Mars, but they also created these sample tubes for the specific purpose of eventually one day sending them back to Earth, which is something no one has done before. So a future mission will be sent to Mars to pick up these tubes and bring them back to Earth. And they're saying the time frame for that may, may be as early as 2031. Who knows? There might be other missions that go to Mars and come back with samples before that. Who knows? Uh, this is a, a, an exciting time for space travel, for space exploration. Uh, things are accelerating at a very fast pace when, when before it was very slow paced, sometimes even stagnant. I think SpaceX has played a very large role in kind of lighting a fire here and, and getting everybody else moving quickly. Now, while NASA has put this on the surface of Mars, China also has a mission that they sent in that same launch window, you know, when, when Mars and Earth were aligned and it was easiest to send missions to Mars, China also sent an orbiter, a lander, and a rover that they hope to put on the surface of Mars and explore the surface of Mars. This will be the first time China has done this, and this will be a huge accomplishment if they manage to pull it off. Now, some people are saying, oh, China has not done all the things that America has done. They're so far behind. Uh, I think that's the wrong way of looking at it. Ch China doesn't have to do all of the things the US has done in order to catch up or surpass the US. Uh, look at SpaceX, for example. They didn't have to do everything NASA did to catch up and exceed what NASA's previous contractors have ever done. Uh, that is a, is a company that in just a few years came from nowhere and is now launching NASA astronauts up to the International Space Station. They actually beat Boeing, a long established, deeply entrenched contractor. They beat their commercial crew capsule Boeing still hasn't sent a single astronaut into space on, on their capsule. SpaceX has sent two missions and they will be sending, sending more very soon before Boeing even finishes its test flights. So China doesn't need to do all of these things in order to catch up to, to the US. They just need to start doing the things they want to do in space. This year, they plan on launching the first segment of their crewed 
space station up in orbit. So, so China was excluded from the International Space Station. They will build their own space station. So uh, things are moving very quick in space. There's plenty of information about NASA's Perseverance mission. I thought it would be interesting to kind of explore some of the implications of some of the things that it's doing, what that, that will have on the future, making oxygen on the surface of Mars perhaps sending samples back to Earth. These are huge steps toward the direction of colonizing Mars and beyond. So to my Patreon patrons who make these videos possible, thank you so much for that support. Thank you everybody who likes and shares my videos or subscribes to my channel. All of that helps my channel grow. That is a big help as well. Please check the video description for all the links to these, these websites that I was showing you, there's a lot of information there. It's very interesting. And, and if nothing else, there's incredible images there to look at. And as always, thank you very much for watching.